Hey, good morning everybody and um, today we're going to be talking about uh, this is a small tutorial on how to actually insert an XML file into an HTML page okay so basically um, I just made up an XML file and basically um, if you don't know how to make an XML file you can Google that but basically this is the structure and it's a hotel XML file okay if you reach this far you probably just want to know how to put it into the page so basically <clears throat> you have an XML file what I'm gonna do is, is I'm gonna save this file in a new folder okay so I'm gonna save as alright I actually have a folder it's called XML okay link large alright so I'm gonna save this as XML2 French hotels XML2 it already exists okay and what I'm going to do is, is I'm going to create an HTML page or PHP but I'll do the HTML okay HTML create I'm just going to create a blank page no structure or no, um, no bars or anything all right basically let's get right to it all right I'm going to save this save as okay I'm going to actually save it in the root folder and this is going to be the XML folder with all the XML files, okay? Kind of a database, so to speak. All right, so we're going to call this our uh, test. And that HTML, sorry, HTML. All right, save it, okay? So in this folder, you should have... Um, computer acting a little weird. Okay, now open. So you should have your test with your XML folder with your XML files inside. Okay, all right. What we're gonna do is the way to do it is is to do this. Insert. There's two ways to do it actually. You can actually save this page. You can save this page as yeah. Be, 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 be. All right. What we're gonna do is uh, the easiest way to do it is this. The way to do it is it's got a little loss, but bear with me. All right. What we're gonna do is we're gonna insert actually a sprite. All right. And you can do the sprite data set. You can do it like this. <coughs> All right. Now, so now the data type, of course, it's not HTML. It's gonna be an XML. All right. We're gonna browse for the folder. Browse for the file. So I'm going inside here. And remember that the folder, you're not going to see the, H, the HTML page here, you're just going to see the folder with the valid files. Go inside. Okay, so we're going to use any one of these. They're, they're all written. Okay, boom. It's that easy. Okay, so basically it reads, it pulls up all the tables. Um, by going to the master table, of course, you'll get the whole. Outlook. I hope you can see this from your screen. But and if you just did the name, then after you just get the table of names, addresses, and so forth and so forth. All we'll do is we're going to choose the hotel. Then we're going to go to next. And you can see they have an outline of all everything that was written in this HTML file. Okay, and um, I'll press next again. And here they give you some options. Okay, you can do it in a lot of different styles. There's a couple different styles. I always like. Um, I actually like this one down here. It gives you. It gives you an option to set it up and do some different stuff too as well. Uh, but we're not going to get into that right now. You can play with that on your own. Okay. Actually, I like this one. Okay. And choose this again. You can go in here and set it up, play with it a little bit, move around the columns. Right, let's take a quick look. Okay, so here again, you have all like you can add some stuff, do some stuff. But we're not going to do anything, we're just going to press done. All right, here it is. Boom. Okay, so basically, what this does. This is the form and it took up all the information. So when I view this page actually in a web browser. Save the test, yes. I'm gonna save all these uh, my sprite assets like the data, JS, 
and master detail SS. The mass in the master and its prime master detail CSS, you can actually go in here later on and actually design and change the colors and add the fonts and do all the different stuff like that. In addition to adding your master um, CSS, but you probably need that. So you press OK. All right, boom. And then after there you go. And I like this because actually you can actually move this box and put it in a different area later on. But if you go here, you see it brings up there. And that's um, I think that's really cool. That's an easy way of actually saving data. Um, you can do it for your personal use that you could actually um, have your own personal telephone book or address book or anything like that or you can use it to insert this in a web page as you can see it's the HTML page so it's basically ready to be uploaded to the server with the with the folder that had the XML files of course that would be this Le Petit Hotel has the address has this and if you went back inside of here and we opened up the XML file it looks a lot uglier like this but basically you can see hotels within this brackets like Esperanza hotel and all the different stuff the grand cars the location so once you learn how to actually write up an XML file it's not that difficult to actually insert it if you're using Dreamweaver you can use JavaScript as well to insert it and that way you can do a lot more with it but as a beginner um, way to get it in this is a great way thanks for watching the video tutorial I hope um I hope it helped okay